Hello everyone and welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Well, today it's holiday in the US and since yesterday we know that Bitcoin is doing the usual weekend moves, sometimes down, sometimes up, but yeah, very, uh, I would say, aggressive, so pumping hard or dumping hard, depends. Uh, we need to see what's going to happen next, but let us check, as usual, our data. So, Wales Ratio. Uh, Wales Ratio is lifting up again since yesterday and touching 90 as you see the world's ratio it's at 92 at the moment that's the world's ratio 30 hours moving average i use the 30 hours moving average for yeah just to see that trends and that's something um much more important that the world's ratio itself it's the trend of the world's ratio and that's why I have also this chart here and it's indicating that the Wales ratio moving uh, 30 days moving average is just, wow, um, lifting up even more than I thought. And the last time that happened, that was uh, last year in summer, I, uh, I can show you that. So that's what happened here. Sorry, so um, indicating almost 24% um, weights ratio that rise from its local bottom to the local top. Um, afterwards, we just uh, move from, let me see, from 32,400 to 29,200, so almost $3,000, but with a huge volume. I don't know if you remember last year, that was then our bottom, something like the spring, and afterwards FTX have started to buy those 55,000 Bitcoins, in my opinion, just related to the spot ETF that um, got rejected just um, afterwards in November. Um, just close before we have started our dump phase. So, yeah, that's that's something, mm, in my opinion, not looking very strong. Um, in my opinion, we are seeing an again a fake rally, but we will see. Um, the stablecoin reserves on exchanges is declining even more right now since yesterday it seems just lifted up a little bit but it's indicating um, just if we take a look it was at 27 billion now we are at 25.5 billion so indicating um, they they withdraw just 1.5 billion US dollars from centralized exchanges and stable coins while Tether's market cap is declining even more. So. And the stablecoin supply is, at the moment, it's, it was lifting up just in the last two weeks, and now it looks like it's maintaining, it's stable right now. We need to see what's going to happen here next. If we take a look to the daily one, we can see that here very well. Um, yeah, what's what's happening and that the voice ratio since October um, it was at 40 and now we are touching 50. Yeah, 49.8. So that's huge. That's really big indicating that whales are sending more and more bitcoins to the exchanges. And that's usually not really uh, bullish. So let us take a look to the uh, flow activity. Well, I have mentioned that today. Uh, it was actually um, very 
the 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 day started very active uh, to be honest so i have tweeted about that um since we have reached or since we have started to pump to lift up uh, we received a lot of bitcoin so at the beginning it was just 30 350 bitcoin afterwards 2000 bitcoin then 500 another 650 another 650 another 620 another 600 then it lifted up to 2600 just an hour later 8600 bitcoin 700 bitcoin later another 1700 bitcoin another 400 bitcoin and since then it's declining at the same time we didn't receive big volume in stablecoins just 120 million uh, when we received those 8600 8, bitcoin and even here the outflows are not really indicating that someone just um, yeah just took this 8600 bitcoins back to his personal wallet sometimes that happens they are trying to fool people with uh, with uh, yeah certain inflows but it's not the case here so in my opinion what we can see here right now it's a distribution it's another distribution like we have seen in the last weeks they lived up and uh, let us yeah I will show you how they lift it up because it's not really driven by spot it's again driven by futures we know what that means um, the only one that keeps buying at least based on the CBD spot CBDs is FTX and that's something that's really strange in my opinion but yeah so uh, let us take a look to the future market So the future market, the funding rate, uh, just lifted up actually since um, Saturday. And uh, yeah, I have to say well played because uh, that's what the price did. And the open interest raised a lot at the same time. And even let me change the color, the leverage ratio, as you can see here. It lifted up as well so everything rising at the moment and um, we can see here even that related to stablecoin the stablecoin net flow maintains relatively low and yeah since two days maybe more green a little bit more green than red but it's it's just very low volume uh, the only thing, and that's sad um, to see that because I, I have tweeted about that. Uh, I just detected big Bitcoin inflows and I thought maybe they're just planning to lift up even more. But they um, we, ha we can detect the inflow, but just an hour later also the outflow. It seems of the same volume indicating that was a very quick operation and that's it so yeah um, let me see if that matches no it doesn't okay um, something I have detected uh, as well is the, um, the shots on Binance are rising a lot we maintain those 1.4 billion so we in on binance now we have more shorts than longs and that's the first time since weeks i don't know maybe since month and uh, that's something that's crazy at the same time on ethereum there are more longs on ethereum than um shorts on binance the Bitfinex longs lifted up even more, a little bit also of the shorts, but I don't care just because that's... I have mentioned in my last uh, Saturday live stream that Bitfinex 
just uh, launched a new feature that is hiding your orders so you we really i i'm not sure if that's valid here to be honest and yeah even here i don't know but at least it it matches very well to the binance one so i think that's a common sentiment by by traders um let us take a look to fdx because that looks a little bit strange to be honest but well why not maybe i mean 1.4 billion and um, as i remember saturday we had something like 700 million or something so that's big let me check the last ftx kingfisher chart in my opinion the liquidation map um keeps showing more longs than shorts yes of course it does indicating so the even the volume rise you remember i was a little bit surprised last saturday it was indicating 80 million so uh, we can see here the big difference between shorts and longs and on ftx they are yeah on the long side and um a, a big volume well a big volume relatively uh, we had bigger volumes in the past but this part here it's crazy um and we need just to go down again hitting 29 or something um, to liquidate all of them on the other side on the short side nothing looking or at least it shouldn't attract any exchanges or anybody in ways that want to trigger um, a cascade just to to push even more up doesn't look like and um, to be honest so i don't know um yeah let us take a look to the options maybe we find something there uh useful so let us take a look and maybe you will see what's happening here uh, we have the future market here so stablecoin futures okay check that here check that here even check that here just the patterns and check that here so you will see that here here uh, you can see that here as well even on spots but just the aggregated one that's binance because the market makers using binance because of the uh, big liquidity on binance and futures just to um yeah to make the market so just to manipulate the price and um here's using he did that here as well and uh, but the the whole trend was just based on on stablecoin and ptc futures while uh, he didn't buy big anymore and um, at the moment and that's ftx and that's where i'm struggling struggling a little bit because ftx it's just um, Lifting up even more, I, I'm not sure what that's their strategy at the moment. But if we go to the five minute time frame, it looks better to see what exactly is driving the market. So if you check what's happening here, you see that here you almost are not saying that here. And not even here, so they used instead Bitcoin margin contracts a little bit, also stablecoin, and just a tiny amount of spot, but very tiny. And FTX was here, um, also using their spots for that. So, yeah, it doesn't look like that's a solid rally and uh, for me it's much more clear that we will we will go down again afterwards 
if we check for example here we can see that the market makers have started to buy so since um, yesterday they bought almost 40,000 bitcoins or at least their balances are showing that they are just accumulating or they got 40,000 bitcoins since then we need to see what's going to happen next if that's the start of an accumulation like they did last year so if we take that here that was last year okay and maybe they are doing exactly the same I still have my doubts I still have my doubts it doesn't look solid in my opinion that looks like more up maintain down that's my opinion yet we need to see because as mentioned the market is very dynamic and uh, today it's holiday in the US so it's not really representative we need a little bit more patience it's possible that we will not dump directly today that we will wait a little bit maybe until tomorrow that's possible so well, we need to have that in mind and um, also interesting that the market maker sent 2500 bitcoins again just in the top and since then we are declining even small um, weights with uh, wallets with 10 to 100 bitcoins and here a fund flow of 4300 bitcoins that matches very well um, to what we have detected on spot exchanges and even here wallets with 100 to 1000 bitcoin had a fund flow of 5900 bitcoin that means they had a fund flow they sent or received or whatever bitcoins in my opinion they are using centralized exchanges but at the same time also OTC and yeah in my opinion that's a local top maybe they will try to 31k just to close uh, as mentioned these option trades and then go down afterwards they tried twice and they failed because right now it's uh, in my opinion a fight between bulls and bears but even the bulls also here just my view are just it's a short-term move they are they place the 31k calls and uh, they just want to close them so we are very close to the 31 it's possible in my opinion if they try it again and uh, we will see something above a 31k that in my opinion it's going to be a nice entry price to short but it's not financial advice it's my view my opinion please use only this data to make your own conclusion let us take a look to the exchange walls so uh, we don't see anything on coinbase really nothing they were limiting the way up at 31 they stopped with that as you can see here at 31 500 they stopped usually they placed or they reinforced at 35k that's very interesting i don't know if that's spoofing we need to see but they are limiting the way down to 28 and limiting the way up at 35k that will be just necessary to close our gap between 33 34 to 36 but yeah deribit yeah deribit maintains uh, as you can see they have here the big cluster of orders and a bigger one even here okay so we see here limitation at 28.8 
on Bitstamp, but that's it. Binance Spot. Limiting the way down at 28.4. And that's it. Nothing up, only down. Yeah. Also, mo maybe it's all spoofing, but usually um, when you spend a lot of time with markets and you see all these different um, orders waiting there, that's usually they want to protect something. And you don't need to protect something when you are not expecting yeah, a new dump or something, right? Look what Bitfinex is doing. Even, wow, with a bigger volume right now at 27.5. And they were doing exactly the same here, but they removed the walls, it seems. Um, now maybe at 31, 600, 700. Yeah. I, and of course, working very hard, <laughs> as usual on Bitfinex. FTX perp. Little wall at 28, a lot more waiting below 25, and that's it. Kraken waiting at 31,434, but look that. Also here, if you are not expecting anything, at 26, Bitmax. Limiting at 31.5 and 25. So it seems that someone is really, it's it's just an op. Let, let me go up to 31, 31, 300 or something. And then we can go down uh, um, again. So we can see here. Wow, Bitfinex derivatives, a big cluster here of different, you can see that, it's tiny, it's nothing big, but it's a cluster of low volume cell orders, and we have the same here, as you see. at 28, below of 28,000. Kraken Futures, nothing really. FTX Spot, also here a lot of orders waiting, but nothing up it seems. No. They triggered their sold order at 30k and uh, it seems it was, well, not a big one. It depends maybe for FTX it was big, but, and that's it. Let us talk about my personal conclusion and uh, yeah.